My name is Liam Henry. The title of my project is Waterlog. I became interested in doing this project when I learned what it meant for a golf ball to become waterlogged. The question I asked was, which goes farther, a waterlogged golf ball or a non-waterlogged golf ball? The hypothesis I formed was, the non-waterlogged golf ball will go farther than the waterlogged golf ball because it is not as heavy. I came up with this hypothesis after I researched and learned that the water inside a golf ball adds a lot of weight to it, making it not go as far. The procedure I used to test my hypothesis was I went to an open field, hit 30 waterlogged golf balls and 30 non-waterlogged golf balls and tracked the distance of each. My results showed that the non-waterlogged golf balls went farther than the waterlogged golf balls. The conclusion I reached was that the non-waterlogged golf balls went farther because they are not as heavy as the waterlogged golf balls. If I were to do this experiment again, I would do it on a warmer day, maybe go to a more open field. Here is the picture of the non-waterlogged golf balls. Here is the picture of the waterlogged golf balls. Here are the pictures of the golf club I used. The materials I used were 30 waterlogged Callaway golf balls, 30 non-waterlogged Callaway golf balls, a bucket full of water, a golf club Callaway driver, and Google Earth for tracking the distance. Here is the data for the waterlogged and non-waterlogged. The wa non-waterlogged average was about 111. The waterlogged average was about 80. Thank you for listening to my project.